So 54-48, we'll see what Joe Calero's drawing up. Will he drop a quick two or a three? I'm thinking with 39 left, you can still go quick two if you want it. Box it inbound against full court pressure. Gwet with it, crosses the timeline to Harris. Back to Chris, has a good look at a three, puts it up, no good. Rebound Boxley, he puts it up, no good. Another rebound, Austin Powers, who will finish. Great offensive glass work there by Seattle U, and we got a full timeout. It's a 54-50 game, don't go anywhere, 28.9 left. Free throw is up, and good. Perfection at the line is what salts away basketball games, and that's exactly what Eastern Washington has done here in the second half. Valentine from the line, four for seven, but perfect here in the second half. Second free throw by Benny. Is short and missed, and Powers with the rebound. So they got one out of two. Here's Boxley with it, attacking over to Gwet. Toes up a three, puts it up, and hits it! 55-53, 17 seconds left. Valentine will inbound. Seattle U face guarding on the full court pressure. Valentine trying to get it in. Nearly a steal by Boxley, and nearly a travel as well, but they're going to foul Gibson, a backup guard. So not a bad idea there. Gibson on the year, a 71%er, 27 of 38 he has not gone to the line today, and he's two for six from the field today. And these as pressure-packed a free throws as I imagine that this young man's had all year. Gary Gibson, the 6'1 junior, hits the first. So this one's a huge one right here. This is the difference between a one-possession game and a two-possession game. Free throw is no good. Seattle U with a chance to tie with a three. Harris with it with 10 seconds left. Harris will kick it back to Powers. Powers tees up a three. And it's it! Austin Powers ties it up! 4.6 left! Joe Calero pumps his fist. We're tied for the first time in the second half. 56-56.